Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Krishan Khan Singhal. Today I am going to talk about Cloud Scheduler and Google Cloud Function. So how we can call Google Cloud Function uh, through Cloud Scheduler at the certain intervals. In previous episode, I have talked about a Google Cloud Function, which is a serverless offering from the Google. You need not to worry about your servers and all. You just have to write the function and that function will be called by certain uh, triggers like HTTP, Cloud, PubSub and other provided means. And once the function execute, the execution will end and you will be charged only for the only for the function which you have called. But now we want to call a, uh, that cloud function at a certain interval. There might be such, uh, various use cases like for the example every morning I want to I want to send daily reports to my management where like uh, my whole data in, in a big query database I want to every morning five o'clock I want to get that data do some analysis on that and then create a CSV and upload to cloud storage and send the URL of that uh, CSV on the email, Slack or anything. And there might be various other use cases like taking the backup or a lot of other things. Running anything at a schedule, uh, at a schedule or at some certain time or Google which is known as cloud scheduler. Okay, so using cloud scheduler, we can set the repetitive timing or we can say like, okay, um, on Monday 5 o'clock, execute this or something like that. So using cloud scheduler, we can call a um, cloud function in repeatedly one time or whatever we want. So this is the cloud scheduler logo. We can call our cloud function using HTTPS trigger or using PubSub okay so the first thing which we have to go is, do is like we have to go to our cloud console as usual and then we can uh, search for the cloud scheduler so if you see when i search for the cloud scheduler This screen will come. I already have one one uh, bad job or scheduled job, which is running every one uh, every one hour. Okay, so if you see, it just ran at 9:05, and then again it will be run, running at 10:05. So we have the option. If you see the options here, we have create job, refresh, edit, pause, resume, and delete. So I will be clicking on the create job. So I can put any name, whatever I want, like learning cloud scheduler SCA. Okay, and then whatever description you put. So if you see the frequency section, so basically we have to put here the uh, frequency and it takes the Chrome standard uh, input so to get like uh, we can go to uh, crontab.guru website so there easily like uh, we can uh, create the construct which we want like we uh, for the example i want to execute this thing every five minutes so this is the con uh, con construct for that like if i want to execute every 10 minutes i will do like this and if i change every 10 minute past r1 so it will execute after every, at a certain, uh, one hour interval but at the 10th minute of that so like that we can create the construct as per our requirement so i am going to do it every five minutes so that i can show you that function is getting called so once you have done that you have to specify the frequency here okay once you do that, you have to define the time zone. So currently, let's say Canada one. So in that, it's giving me various time zone. Let me take, let me take ECT, EST, and then target. So if you see 
we have three targets here we can have http pops up or app engine http if you are taking http means you can call cloud function directly using the http url if you are taking pops up so we have messaging service provided by google uh, which is known as pops up it's a reliable scalable uh, messaging queue so we can use pops up and then we have app engine http if you want to uh, run directly on app engine so at this point of time i will be using http so once you select http you have to give the url of function which you want to call so so i have so you have in your case like if you don't have the google cloud function you can create that in my case i am already having the cloud function but let me explain a little bit how you can create the cloud function if you want okay so for the example i am having this function one i can take the url of that function one but you can create the uh, function by clicking on the create function so i will share the uh, url of google cloud function tutorial is given below so you can have a look how you can create the from uh, Google Cloud function. So once it is loaded, there is a trigger section. From there, you can get the um, URL of uh, Google Cloud function. So if you see, there is a trigger section. So I can copy the URL from here. Once you copy that URL, you have to put it here and make sure it is proper. And then you can have the get call. Currently, I'm not uh, sending any data. I can make it get. Then I will uh, click on create. So it has created my cloud scheduler, learning cloud scheduler. You can see, and it is showing here, and it is telling me in target, and it's giving me the URL which uh, I'm going to call, and then uh, there is a last one when it was run and the result. And it's telling um, it has not run till now. So I think we have to wait for five minutes just to get it run. And once it is run, it will call um, this cloud function one. And we can see like in logs also like uh, uh, it is getting called or not. So if you see there is a view log. So from that we can find out this function is getting called or not. We can see the logs. and the same thing here like you have the log views uh, button for the watching the logs for cloud scheduler so let me click on that as well so currently it's showing the uh, one hour data and uh, our cloud scheduler has not run so it is not showing any data but like after five minutes it will run then we will be able to see like that function one has been executed and here this is showing me log of 905 the another uh, cloud scheduler which i have created another cloud scheduler which i created and it is executing that So if you guys see the logs, and uh, I see now the code cloud logs, uh, uh, cloud scheduler logs. So there was a call at 9:35, and and then another call was 9:40. So it is getting executed every five minutes. If you can, uh, you can see it here. Okay. So this was the cloud scheduler log, and if let's go to cloud scheduler. So if you guys see here, like uh, the last run was at 9.55. So there was some issue internet or Google site due to which I was not able to see the logs. But now both, now if you go to Google Code Cloud, see the logs. So there is 0, 0.955. There is a log at 9.55 and there is a log at 9.50. So which shows like it is getting, uh, that Google Cloud function is getting call at interval of five minutes and you can see the function name as well so this is how like uh, we can call function at regular interval and 
do repetitive tasks and do a lot of other things. Thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe to my channel and see you in next video.